Let's talk Rivian. There's always action in Rivian. The shares down. Seems like, uh, I mean, the stock generally, the more we talk about it, uh, the more it seems to go down. It's just stuck, <laughs> Renita. Uh, what's the latest here? For sure, shares have been running out of gas, but it wasn't too long ago that this stock was considered an underappreciated winner in the transition from gas-powered vehicles to electric sure. vehicles, right? But all of this is coming to one signature point today that having a good product just is not enough. Mm. And that's what Barclays said when it downgraded Rivian to equal weight from overweight and cut the price target to $16 from $25 a share. Now, the analyst over there, Dan Levy, he says the company does have a great product, has great technology, and we know Rivian is launching the R2, the smaller, cheaper next generation vehicle next month, and AT&T is piloting Rivian vehicles in its fleet. That's promising, but this analyst over at Barclays says this is not enough to avoid, the, avoid those increased signs of demand pressure from the broader EV slowdown that none of us can really deny is happening. It's showing up even in the best of the best. Now, it's consistent this note with what Deutsche Bank said last month when it downgraded the stock as well. And this demand pressure could manifest itself in the form of a few different ways. This analyst over at Barclays says weaker pricing, slower volume growth. And on top of that, Rivian still needs to continue to raise capital. Of course, it's still considered a startup company, but for sure, it's been pressuring the shares for a long time. And this company really needs to become free cash flow positive as well. Okay. Yeah, kind of fed up. It seems like Barclays has seen enough after being bullish on the stock with the $25 price target. I mean, mm -hmm. that's a pretty meaningful cut down to where it trades right now. They're basically saying, you know, neutral technically, but it's kind of reeks of giving up when uh, bulls back away from this name leaving us fewer and fewer remaining behind. And it happened pretty quickly, too, because as we know, in December, this stock had a run up of about 40 percent. Right. Yeah. And just in January, even some were still bullish on this stock, but they started to see the picture decline as the shares started to decline. Yeah. OK. Did try and uh, pop at the end of last year, but rallies just keep fading in the stock. So, so reliable faded rallies, even as so much of the market now has been lifted up. All right. Thanks for the heads up. Renee Young from the newsroom, Rivian down now less than 3%.